For the first time of my life, I know who I am. My heart belongs to no one but Egypt. It's because of their poetry of life and freedom. I will speak finally about polygamy today. It's a video which I really didn't want to video for a very long time because I believe it will bring really a lot, a lot negative comments and maybe insult and a lot of really big things, okay? However, it's something which you look forward. <laughs> Here I am. I really don't know how this video will look like at all. I have no idea how it will end what will happen during the video. Firstly, I will speak about some facts and then I will say my own opinion, my maybe own experience. Please, really, in this video try to be open-minded because I know it's a very, very hard topic for a lot of women. <laughs> a lot of women maybe who are watching me even experience it, even you are a foreigner and maybe it was a hard time for you I get it, I understand it completely, um, but as I told, try to be kind of open-minded to what I will say now. Before you come to Egypt, you have to know one thing, that Egypt accepts polygamy. Yes, it's really true. It has a condition. This is for a Muslims, okay? If you meet Egyptian Christian, so as I did my research, it's not allowed for Christian people. But for a Muslim man, yes, it is. I wanted to think about this before you actually come to Egypt and I swear I did the same with myself or will I accept it to myself I really now don't care if you have Egyptian boyfriend or Egyptian man doesn't matter and he's gonna tell you and promise you I will not marry in the future because you never know uh, and because it's allowed so you really don't know what will happen in the future right maybe you are now in love deeply in love so it's a normal that he now don't see the other option or he will give it up but can he guarantee you this in future no no one can guarantee you this and please don't tell me like yeah my <laughs> boy wrote me some paper as i discussed last time some paper and he promised in the paper he swore that he will not marry another woman this simply doesn't work like this in egypt at all even if you're in Europe, it will not work, but in Egypt especially, it will not work. Okay. You will have to think deeply, like what you will do, maybe if it happens, how you will react. I believe that every woman should have the right to decide if she want to stay or she want to leave. And I believe every man should give her this freedom of choice. This is uh, very, very discutable. A lot of Egyptian men say that they don't have to inform the first wife if they want to marry another wife. From the Islam, it's actually very correct. They should inform you the first wife. Uh, it doesn't matter if the first wife agree with it or not, but she should know. They should inform her. And then she has the right to stay or leave. It shouldn't be her choice. Well, maybe now you think that every woman will leave and I'm telling you that I know, I saw a lot of women who stayed. Even it was hard for them, even they cried and they made a bad words, okay? They was warning the men that they will leave him at the end, but at the end they stayed. For many reasons. Uh, could be a money reason, because they knew that they will not be afford to live by themselves. Or could be even the point of love, that they still love the man. And I wanted to make you understand something. Uh, I believe that if a man decides to marry another woman, as much as it hurts, I don't think he want to give up on the first woman. I believe he wants simply two women. So he wants two women to take care of him, two women spoil him, whatever come for him. Uh, not only two, as I do, can be up to four. It depends really what kind of man you actually marry or you share your life with. But also, as a normal human being, we are changing all the time, you know? 
maybe if you met someone at 20 and it's laughs love story and amazing life maybe the person will change in his 30s or 40s and the needs is different besides uh, if a man decide to marry another woman it doesn't mean that you failed in something it's not about you I believe it's about him most about him about his needs about what he needs in his life to be honest I can tell you as I grew up in the middle of Europe I swear I swear on everything in my life I have never seen in my life one man who didn't cheat okay including my own family including friends including their families okay and schoolmates also simply every time I know knew some men he always always cheated his wife always had two girlfriends maybe more a lot of mysteries okay simply a lot of women it never was a monogamy even in uh, my country the monogamy of course is only monogamy there's nothing called polygamy at all it's strictly forbidden but I never saw a faithful man who will always be just with one woman I wanted to say that I will not criticize polygamy so hard because I have even before Islam I have never seen really the monogamy that it will work okay I always saw the men are cheating the men always want more than one woman the women always want to try more and I believe it's simply in their nature besides reason for marrying another woman could be also different uh, for example health issue okay if the woman is for example sick uh, so the man doesn't want to give her up or uh, let's say the hard way to live here on the street without anyone but he can keep her and then marry another woman if the woman cannot uh, conceive a baby okay this can be also a solution to polygamy that okay he loves me I love him so he will keep me and then marry another woman because of to get a baby and he doesn't have to give up on me absolutely like I said not be in his life let's imagine situation which is happening actually nowadays in the world the number of women are really increasing so much that uh, which I was watching a statistic so right now it's a uh, five women on one man we had a cause if I remember it was in Sweden just a years ago but it's a good example when actually women was demonstrating on the street that they want a husband uh, I was thinking about it as a uh, teenager actually because it happened when I was a teenager uh, like what the state will should do now okay I have a lot of women on the street demonstrating we want a husband and we don't have the man so what we should do now uh, so this the polygamy can be answered for it and they could solve it by it oh, so polygamy is not indeed a bad thing all the time or it also can be this for example means a woman uh, I want to build a career or I don't find myself so satis satisfied to be just a housewife or to be just in the marriage and I want to take uh, time for myself or I want to study or I want to travel anything simply okay simple to focus on my career and for example it's not enough for my husband so also can be the answer program as well I was reading some words from a woman who experienced polygamy and actually a lot of women told that it helped them that if there was a two women they helped each other in all the matters of the life and it gave them more freedom and more focus on them on themselves but it really matter which kind of person you are and what you can accept in your life I somehow see that if you say just the words polygamy so all the women or most of the women get really really scared but on the other side if in some monogamy country a man having a lot of mysteries it's absolutely fine and it's acceptable and I just don't understand it why we like humans are afraid from um, 
the marriage, okay, the point of marriage to more women, but we are not scared from the point to have a more mysteries. Like it's not logical for me, okay? It's the marriage should be on the first place, right? Not to be a mistress, to be a wife. Because I get really interested about it, so I made my research. Uh, how many people on the whole planet use the polygamy? And believe it or not, it's just two percent. Two percent of the whole planet use polygamy. It's kind of really, really small number, right? So probably there's nothing to be afraid from. But then it came to my question, if it's so small number, why most of the foreigners who come to Egypt are afraid from it and even experience it? Yes, you listen right. Most of the foreigners who have experienced with Egyptian men, they experience polygamy and the foreigner actually accept it somehow. Or even they don't accept it, it happens anymore. But why, why, why? It was really my question. So I dig in it. And actually, I found out that only 1% of all Egypt use polygamy. Just 1%, which is really so small number. But if you think about it, of how many people Egypt has, exactly 100 million people in the year 2020 it was. If I count correctly, it's, let's say, 1 million, okay? 1 million people, 1 million uh, men use polygamy in Egypt which is already, wow, a big number. And what's more shocking that I search how many foreigners stay in Egypt, how many foreigners live in Egypt right now. And it's around just half million, including men and women. So even if I divide it, let's say quarter million of women, foreigner on all Egypt, and one million of men use polygamy. So I'm not really surprised anymore <laughs> that we experience this. Okay, I hope you get my numbers, I hope you get my thoughts. What I basically wanna say, we are so little foreigner in Egypt living. Maybe it or not, but as I told, only 1% of Egyptians use polygamy. So it's not like all, all Egypt use polygamy, no, not at all. You just because you don't know Egypt, you don't know the rules and so on. So you will fall for these men who want, for example, get out of country, who will use you as as another woman to achieve what they want and so and so on. But it everything starts if you know the habits of Egypt and tradition and like this, so you can avoid it and you don't have to put yourself in trouble and then you don't have to be afraid from the polygamy. Recently what I found out, I didn't know about about it at all, but my friend actually <laughs> passed it to me, uh, that in Egyptian law is that if a man want to marry another wife, so he must inform the first one, okay? He really have to. And if he doesn't, uh, he can go to jail for it. And the woman has right to divorce him when she find out. But it uh, is only till one year. If she will not find out till one year, so it's not working simply. And she have no right anymore to ask for divorce or anything. But there's always a tricky, I really don't know if this really is also for a foreigner. Because Egyptian law really is mostly made for Egyptian people and with us foreigner, it doesn't work so well. Not all the time. Depends. Depends really on the life situation. Sometimes yes, sometimes I heard it not. But I didn't experience it by myself, so I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you exactly. Anyway, you should know something. It's also important point that in the year 2019, there was a sheikh from Al Azhar named Ahmed Al Daib. He actually wanted to unlawful the polygamy in Egypt, but he didn't go for it really a legal way, so nothing happened at the end. But he was explaining that most of the Egyptian Muslim understand the Islam wrongly, that the before in Islam. Uh, the monogamy was rule and polygamy was exception and right now the men are taking the polygamy as they want which I kind of agree I see in Egypt uh, as I told many times that the Egyptian culture and Islamic culture get really mixed or the Egyptian are really mixing it up all the time as they want so each of the person and then will explain Islam to you on their own way on different way and not how it actually is and surprisingly, I believe that in Europe, uh, the sheikhs explaining the Islam much 
better way, much understandable way and much correctly, okay? But is that the point of view? Each of us will have different on this, of course. But my point, if the man simply doesn't inform the first wife that he will marry another woman, for me personally, it's cheating. It's the same like he cheated me, you know? But this is really my opinion, okay? That's why I appreciate it in the Islam that they should inform the first wife. Because if they inform, okay, she's it's a wife, it's nothing bad, it's nothing haram, it's making me angry and they're bad and whatever. Simply it's at the end nothing bad, like I appreciate that he at least informed me. Okay, I really appreciate it, yes I do. But if he doesn't say and he keep it secret, even he will say for example like I want to keep the calm of my first family, that's why I didn't inform you, because I know that you will be angry, you will screw up, you will make a lot of problems, okay? But simply he didn't tell me. So like, he didn't appreciate him enough to even tell me this. So I won't personally take it like he already hurt with my feelings. I will take it as a normal, normal cheating. On me, on my side. Because if I spent with a some person a certain amount of days months years okay simple my life so i at least expect he will be honest with me whatever his decision is and whatever it will be painful for me i won't at least know i wish i am good enough for him to at least inform me so that's why i don't agree with the egyptian men when they are telling that they don't have to inform i don't agree with this and i believe this is this point is actually from the egyptian culture which they are mixing with the Islam. I make a kind of funny, funny research for me, <laughs> but uh, that a man who live in polygamy relationship actually, they live about 12% longer than the men in monogamy relationship. It's really kind of interesting, like the polygamy has a good effect on the men. At the end, my own opinion, I believe each of us are really different and they are some women who can accept polygam polygamy and some women who really cannot accept it at all. And I understand both versions. Like always, my personality, I'm <laughs> in the middle of them. I really understand both sides very well. I told you before that I was in the position when I couldn't have a baby and I was in the same position when I had a fear that my husband will go for another woman, uh, that I will have to be alone because of this like there was a lot of things going on my mind in this topic exactly and i experienced the fear and depression from it really very much but i am kind of a little bit different my story is different because i became a muslim before i go to egypt and before i married muslim men actually so the creation of polygamy i accepted on myself long time ago even on myself i can tell you honestly if this happened to me i could accept it I'm, I don't say that 100%, I won't accept it, but I say I could. These things can happen and if you love each other with your spouse, so, and there's a solution to stay together, so actually why not, you know? But I don't say it's easy, no, it's very extremely hard and I don't say, for example, I wasn't crying from it, Yes, I was very hard, but at the end, when you make these negative emotions and you put the logic mind, so the polygamy sometimes is very reasonable and can really solve a lot of problems. I don't believe that you can be really, really a Muslim from your heart when you don't accept this, when you are not aware of this, okay? But it doesn't mean that especially like Islam make uh, from a woman they are less. No, it's nothing to be related to if the woman is less or more. It's nothing related to really. It's just men and women are different. The need of the men are different and the needs of the women are different. Right now we live, let's say in time of kind of peace, okay, some countries, but some countries not, some countries are in the war, war, and I'm just, <laughs> trying to think even about this stuff like if this will happen a war and uh, there will be women on the street and they will be in the need of the men the men can always also take care of them okay 
For example, in Egypt right now, when I walk on the street, I see a woman on the street, beggars with a kid. They don't have a man, they don't have a family. And I always feel so sorry for them and I always like thinking, why some man doesn't marry them then and help them to just don't be on the street? I know it's hard to understand when you, for example, live in the Europe or in America and you are not a beggar and you maybe don't see such a stuff, but here in Egypt, you see it more than ever in the world, really. You see, uh, really, a lot of women are starving from hungerness here on the street and kids. This is so, so scary. And in this point, I actually agree with the polygamy, yes. So why not then? Why the men shouldn't take care of the women and help them? This is the point of polygamy, to help, I believe. It's about helping. Okay, it can be even about desire, yeah, I know. But I believe it's about helping more. Uh, let's don't judge it so much. Don't judge the polygamy so hard. Because it can be a good thing. It's not a decreasing woman. It's a helping woman, I believe. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I believe this video is actually a little bit different than I wanted to be. But however, it is how it is. Uh, just be please kind of kind in the comments don't be so rude to me or to rush me i would love to listen any your opinion i swear i love your comments comment whatever you wish but let's just be polite okay so thank you and bye